Cool. Um, welcome everyone to this IBC community call. We, st we start with the, the updates from the interchange team. Um, Susana, you want to start? I can click here on the presentation you have. Yeah, it's Open just this um, one. Let me see. one slide. I mean, you can also leave it like that because as long as people can just see. Um, is, is this visible what I have right now? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, I can see it. I think everyone can see the same thing, I hope. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Yeah, so basically, um, as I previously mentioned, we're getting the IBC protocol.dev.org website redone. Um, and as part of the redesign, the designers were wondering if there was scope to change the logo. And they proposed this new logo um, which we like um, the old logo is there in comparison obviously just wanted to share with people as well um, to their thoughts but I think one one thing I see is a particular benefit to kind of having a bit of a, a rebrand although people may be kind of um, you know like the old logo and stuff like this it's uh, I think there's a really um, heavy association of IBC as just a Cosmos only interoperability protocol. And um, if we you know, really want to expand to all these other ecosystems, um, I think it might be good to get that messaging out there with something a bit fresh and new. Um, looks a little bit like an S. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of direction that we're, we're thinking um, for that. So I just wanted to share. Um, thanks, Dean, for the feedback. We'll, we'll feed that back as well. Um, but yeah, that was just that part. Unless anyone else has comments, I'll just move on. And obviously, feel free to send a comment or feedback afterwards. Um, the other thing just to update was that we have a blog post live. Um, about ADR8, so you can click on that. Quick before you leave the rebranding, yeah. typically branding has a lot more than mere, than just a logo, though that's an important yeah. part of it. Of it's course. A, okay. Um, so there's there's still like we have a kind of concept, but basically it's still being slightly reworked. So before we shared that, we wanted it to be a bit like you know. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like. We've already spent a lot longer than we hoped by trying to appease uh, many people's opinions. Um, so it's kind of, uh, <laughs> it's hard if we like, um, yeah, we've already had some difficulty in putting lots of uh, different input back to the designers and it's been quite difficult for them. So one thing that we do, like, I think the logo is something that we like the S, Part. You could probably just change typography slightly, but yeah, it's the, more of the concept. But yeah, there will be more to share in time. Um, yeah. Does that sound good, Dean? Um, I mean, in general, yes. And it's unsurprising, you know, figuring out a way to get people's input without it you know, without it uh, 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 dragging the designers all over the place. I mean, in some <laughs> sense, designers ought to be good at that, right? You know, where you've got, here's your options, give us feedback, we'll take it back, we'll do another round, that sort of thing. But, but uh, 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 you know, logo and then, and then the rest of the branding stuff is, is, is the typical process, yes. There's a lot of work. Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. And then, I'll, yeah, it's there. So just hopefully, yeah, any other feedback, feel free. And um, yeah, just drop the blog there if people want to read in their own time um, about the um, callbacks to a non-human uh, IBC users. And yeah, um, so I've been working on a tutorial for uh, using um, Cosmosm and IBC. So Hopefully, you can all see that in the not too distant future.
Uh, all right. Uh, you want to mention anything about the custom Western tutorial? Yeah, sure. Um, it's also part of the redesign of the whole docs. Um, so we are redesigning it to be more similar to the uh, Cosmos, um, uh, the Cosmos docs page using DocuService. I mean, it's already done. Just needs to pass some uh, reviews and stuff. Um, and um, same for the tutorial page. It's supposed to have the similar um, uh, design as like uh, design parts as um, other tutorials page in Cosmos. Um, this this specific tutorial is based on um, based on some uh, resources that are already available in GitHub. So I, I'm making sure to give credit wherever I use other people's work. Um, it, it's it's so yeah. The this a Cosmosm tutorial is basically just a very simple contract that just counts the number of times it receives IBC packets. So it's nothing, nothing like major. But the good thing is that you go step by step. You know, there's GitHub commits you can go to and see what the state of the thing is, and like, um, uh, yeah. So and also you write the tests for it as well. So not just writing the uh, contract, but also learning how to write the test for it. So. Uh, it's a simple contract, but yeah, I'm trying to make it as detailed as possible. Cool, thanks. All right, then if we move to protocol engineering, then uh, last week we released um, all the uh, patches uh, in all the supported versions for the Huckleberry advisory. Um, so. Yeah, if you haven't read it, please um, read the advisory. Um, and yeah, as with any security advisory, recommend we, we recommend to to upgrade as soon as possible. Uh, and the good thing is that this is a a, a patch release, so um, it doesn't need a coordinated upgrade. So yeah, a rolling upgrade is is fine. We will work okay now. Uh, on writing a full disclosure um, and yeah once it's ready we will publish that uh, in the cosmos hub forum um, yeah um, we have a maximum of 90 days uh, to publish it so in that period of time we will we will publish it all right if no questions about that then um, yeah we started a new iteration and uh, we have uh, the plan to release two, two versions, uh, v6.2, which includes the backport of the support for uh, transfers for, for OC, and also adding the unlimited spending. Um, so hopefully, yeah, this week, the, the, that release will, will go out. Then for 7.1, which includes localhost client and and the state entry to track the total amount of uh, tokens in escrow. Uh, yeah, we also want to release this um, probably next week, but first we will tag an, a release candidate and share it with um, a few teams. Uh, Strange Love to do also the end-to-end -end test with uh, the relayer, uh, Osmosis and, and Stride, who both uh, showed interest in the ICS20 state entry feature. Um, yeah, so hopefully those were two releases will come out this week. <clears throat> yes, link to the doc, uh, one second. I will put it here again. All right. Um, yeah, if there are questions, please interrupt me. Then uh, 7.2, that would be the release that uh, will include um, the support for Wasm clients. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna um, work together with Strangelove and Composable to upstream the feature. Uh, the PR is open and the team is gonna start reviewing it this iteration. Yeah, so uh, we'll still it will still take a few weeks, uh, probably until it's merged, um, and we uh, we can make the release. But yeah, at least we plan to start uh, this iteration with it. Uh, and then in this this release, we also will try to include um, 
the support for JSON encoding in the interchain accounts messages. And here, a shout out to, to Serdar for doing a lot of research on how to do the JSON encoding and decoding. Um, maybe Serdar, if you want to explain a bit um, what you've been doing. Yeah, sure. Um, so the motivation for this is so that um, we can have Cosmos and smart contracts just serialize um, basically to JSON directly and then send it to ICA to execute the transaction. Currently, I think uh, Neutron has a wrapper module that handles that, like uh, helps the contract communicate with ICA. And some, uh, some other contracts have their own like proto imports in order to be able to communicate with ICA. But um, so this is not ideal uh, for for some reasons. So what we want to do is that, yeah, you can have direct communication. And um, I guess the way it works is um, you have the interface registry and you essentially get an uninitialized uh, type from the interface registry and then you decode the JSON uh, into that. Um, so that's the like high level overview of this. But um, so yeah, I've run some tests on uh, like a, a fork of WASMD and it seems to work, but obviously um, it seems to work. I, I still need, you know, the whole implementation still has to be made, but I think um, we can include this in 7.2, yeah. Cool, yeah. So, and then uh, looking a bit ahead, then your release uh, V8, uh, yeah, we're working on plan upgradability, um, yeah, working on in implementing the, the spec changes uh, that refactor the handshake, uh, that's a link to the PR. Uh, we're also working uh, on the migration of uh, params to be self-managed by the modules. Uh, yeah, so, so moving away from the params module in the SDK and yeah, now each module will take care of storing it, the, the, their own params. So that's also been uh, going on for the last couple of weeks and we still have a couple of PRs to merge. Yeah, and our focus, yeah, uh, this iteration is channel availability mainly. Um, ah, then, uh, yeah, we have um, a Jim open a PR in the interchain test um, and we wanted to ask Strangelove maybe to review if there's anybody from Strangelove here today. Maybe Justin, no, not Justin. Yeah, yeah I'm, a, I'm a... Uh, Hi, hi, Steve, yeah. Um, cool, um, uh, Jim, do you want to give the context for the for this PR? Yeah, sure. Um, like, uh, it's the same thing that's uh, done for RLI at this point, and it's just, you know, allowing, allowing the people who use interesting tests to basically pass startup flags for Hermes. We're, we're basically contained about, uh, concerned about um, being able to uh, not pass full scan, which uh, might, resolve, might result in Hermes being slow to start up because of um, uh, another PR that we have. And so this basically just allows that. So it isn't something that's um, too involved. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I think that's something I can probably take a look at. Um, and if not, I can pull pull somebody else in. Cool, thanks, Steve, yeah. All right, uh, so that's our updates. Any questions? If not, then we can move to related things. Um, Luca, any updates you would like to yeah. share? Uh, yeah, so uh, last week we released uh, Hermes 1.5.0, uh, which has a lot of uh, performance improvements uh, and uh, a lot of other things. I don't know if you want me to share the change log. Uh, ah, if you want, yeah. I can. Yeah, I can. I'll send it in the chat. And we're also planning uh, a small uh, 1.5.1 1, 1, uh, patch uh, with minor fixes. Okay. Uh, but this is still scheduled. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Yeah. All right, uh, great. Um, then for the relay team, 
Steve, do you have maybe any? Updates? Yeah, so I, I don't have any updates, um, but that's mainly because I haven't been able to uh, sync up with the rest of my team. Um, they, they've had quite a few conflicts this morning. Um, All right. So yeah, sorry, no updates. Yeah, no problem. All right, uh, then anything else that we can discuss today or any questions people may have? Luca, I guess you are looking at the um, spec PR for channel credibility, right? So, yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, do, do you have like a, a time uh, time lapse for when it should be completed? Yeah. So, um, Aditya was talking about uh, trying to merge this PR uh, this week, the PR that's open. Uh, so, that should at least um, um, settle the the, the the big picture uh, uh, and then we can work on uh, minor improvements afterwards but, well maybe maybe Aditya do you want to yeah give the context and explain yeah this is for the upgrading handshake yeah yeah so yeah the PR that's open on the spec right now hopefully will will merge in a week um emerge this week um me and Colin have discussed one other substantive potential change um which I'll open as a separate PR um, that will affect relayers. Um, so I think once we open that and discuss it, then then I think hopefully everything should stabilize after that point, um, barring any unforeseen you know, issues. So um, yeah, we'll keep you updated uh, once the, the next PR comes out, which should be next week. Okay, thanks. Cool. All right, uh, Dean is asking about anything planned for Gateway um, from Interchain. I don't know, Susan, <laughs> is there anything planned? Uh, to be honest, I, I'm not sure. Um, no, uh, we don't have- oh, Susanna, you're muted, I think. Uh, oh, wait, did I, I just... hear you. I hear her. Okay. I also hear her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> phantom mute. Um, no, uh, so, I personally can't make it, sadly. Um, I have a prior engagement, a 30th birthday party. Um, <laughs> um, no, it's, it's quite a big one though. It's, uh, anyway, um, but Addy from our team will be there, um, but we don't have any uh, like presentation or, or workshop or anything, because also sadly said I couldn't make it because um, he had some visa problems. But Addy will be, there. I don't know if Addy's here. No, I think he's not here. But Addy will be there roaming around, so um, you can he'll say hi and check stuff out. Are you uh, presenting, Dean? Uh yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And there'll be an IST, uh, or there'll be a stablecoin talk as well. But I'm presenting on you know Agoric rolling out vaults and heading towards now people being able to start building to deploy in JavaScript finally. <laughs> So. Nice. Yeah, I'm just sad to miss it, but um Nebular, Nebular. All right. Yeah, I'll cool. be at Nebular. And I'll be consider if there should be an IBC something at Nebular. Yes, no there is. That I'm I'm I'll give a presentation at Nebula. Okay. So um, and um won't miss that one. <laughs> Clearly no Good. Polymer have something IBC related in uh, Gateway? Yeah, I think so. So there was, there's going to be IBC representation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. Any any other things? Nice. Thomas, are you going to be also in Gateway? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be there. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be doing a workshop. I think it hasn't been confirmed. Uh, if not, I'm going to have to improvise a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
all right. Uh, then, if there's nothing else to discuss today, we can finish early. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Um, see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. 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 Bye.